Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna give you the rundown of the new load assist that I designed for the Toyota 4Runner. And I'm gonna give you the specs, where you can buy everything, and uh, basically the rundown of, of how and why I designed this. So it's basically uh, two by four, 10 foot long on each side. And then I have 20 caster wheels. Uh, you can see there's two different kinds, but Lowe's ran out of one kind, so I just bought the other. But um, it's 20 caster wheels per, per board. And really, everything just rolls right up on top. Now, one of the key components here is these are actually shelf mounts, a 90 degree angle shelf mount. And then I have the Malone J loaders that it actually slides into the slot and won't come undone uh, whenever there's weight on the, the actual board here. But this, uh, so originally my intentions were I bought the J loader and it had an arm that extended straight up like that. And I thought that I could just flip the Hobie up there onto that whenever I mounted the kayak, but it actually wouldn't fit in that bracket. So I had to just take it off and then now what I do is just slide it right above the rails. I'd say all in all, I have about 200 bucks in the wheels. And then of course, two, two 10 foot two by fours, which are probably another 20 bucks. And then I have one inch screws. So each caster wheel takes four screws. And then I put a washer on them just to, just to be safe so that they don't back out on me when I'm you know, away from the house and I don't have my drill and, and uh, I, yeah, I don't want any issues down the road with these casters coming off. So I put uh, washers on each one. And if you're wondering how the actual uh, J loaders attach, there's two wing nuts on each side of the factory rack on top with a steel bar that connects the two. So you just tighten down those wing nuts and this thing is, is secure. All right, we're gonna pretend that I just rolled up and I'm gonna take the wheels off and show you guys exactly how I load and unload this thing. So first I'm gonna tip it on its side, undo my wheels, and then take my, my wheel cart off, set it to the side. Now then I'm going to grab the H rail and just underneath this uh, back clip back here and walk it forward and then actually kind of lay it over on the wheels. So the, the tough part is the first, I'd say three or four feet because you, you really don't have any leverage other than getting down on the ground and sliding up. So I'll show you what I do. Yeah, buddy. That's the hard part and it's really not even hard. And then you just kind of walk it up. And then it stops naturally at the J loader. Now, super simple. It requires, I'd say, 30% effort versus trying to heave ho that thing on top, and works really great. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I would unload it as well. Now, I'll admit that the scary part is unloading this kayak, but I've designed it so that each wheel is six inches apart for a smooth transition down. The only difference being there's about 10 inches between the first wheel and the second wheel and I'll tell you why. The bottom of the Hobie Outback has concave forms and the way that I have it set up is I can actually slide the kayak above that first wheel and rest the entire kayak on that wheel into the shape of the concaveness of the bottom of the kayak and I'll show you now. So what I would do is just lift up and slide to that first wheel and then grab and pull it down. So right now, the entire weight of the kayak is on one wheel. And whenever I'm ready, grab it with two hands and just ease it down. Now I've seen other people use PVC to design the same style rack, but that's just not an option for me because we do have about four months a year where we see really cold temperatures and freezing temperatures and PVC doesn't hold up in those conditions. So worst case scenario with the design I have right here is I have to replace the timbers every two to three years. But if you guys have any questions about anything, shoot me a comment below. And if you have ways that you would improve what I've already created, hey, let me know. We're all trying to grow together. Also, if you guys like fishing videos, check out some of my other content. I fish hard and I fish heavy, but I love creating content and I'll have another video for you guys soon. Thanks guys.